Hello, I'm Harry Flick TV, remember? So you don't have to. There is a wide range of YouTubers and content creators that don't really get talked about that much. And, and I'm here to bring you a list of YouTubers that honestly deserve more subscribers. And there's a, there's a whole rabbit hole of content creators I could look into to make all these videos. And quite frankly, all of them deserve the spotlight. Uh, there are two reasons why I'm actually making this list. One of them is that, again, there's a whole slew of underrated YouTubers that I regret that I neglected to mention last time I did this, but also I kind of just regret putting Mr. Betty Kruger on my last list only because he's kind of just deleting old content now and though he's probably a good review channel, I kind of neglected to to mention that mention more about his review stuff now and I mean this in the most respectful way. I don't really enjoy his newer content anymore. I'm sure it's still good and he's very talented, but it's just, his newer stuff isn't really just my cup of tea, to be honest. But without further ado, let's get into this. This is Top 10 More Underrated YouTubers. Number 10 Nick Crowley. Now, on the surface, Nick Crowley might be well known for his video deep dive on those fake animal rescue channels. But outside of that, he doesn't really get talked about that often. And honestly, I think he, in my personal opinion, he's up there with Blame It On George and that creepy reading. Nick Crowley makes videos about dark YouTube channels, YouTube channels with dark backgrounds, and even sometimes dark stories on television. Honestly, his content is quite good, and they might, even though they might be a little bit lengthy, they are genuinely fun to watch if you're into like really dark, deep guy videos. His well known video being the Animal Rescue Channel where he exposed them to YouTubers who set up fake animal rescues but are really abusing these poor animals. And if I remember correctly, after he exposed them, YouTube actually did something about those channels. And I admire Mr. Crowley for that. So if you're looking for dark deep dive videos and you don't know where to look, Nick Crowley is a good channel to check out. Number nine. Slightly Insulting. Now, Slightly Insulting is a Minecraft roleplay channel who is connected with Lewis Films, uh, who I also previously mentioned in another top 10 YouTubers list. And he's most well known I think, in my opinion, for his Spider-Man Minecraft roleplays. And they are genuinely really good. The way he tells the, sto the stories of the wall crawler and the way they're written are genuinely well made. And honestly, I highly recommend you check them out. So if you love Spider-Man and you love Minecraft, then check out Slightly Insulting because his content and his Spider-Man stories are genuinely really good. As well as his other Minecraft role-playing. Number 8. Mew. Or Musy if you're a long-time fan of that channel. Mew is a pianist who on the surface might be well known for his musical scores like Haunted by Screams and Scent of Night from those songs being used in Creepypasta videos. But outside of the Creepypasta community, I think Mew is quite underrated. And honestly, I think he deserves more recognition. 
He's a very talented music composer, and he's made much more piano songs than, you know, just for the horror genre. He's making quite emotional songs too, some of which I've actually used on, the cha- on this channel before, like Home and the song You. And if you're a fan of creepy and emotional piano music, and you want to just vibe with that music, or listen to it while relaxing, Mew is quite a good channel to check out. Number 7 One Up Films One Up Films, his real name being Nick, is a YouTuber who critiques the bigger plush channel named XML and makes his own plush videos. And compared to XML, this guy is quite underrated. His videos are genuinely well written, and the comedy timing is really good, and it's everything SML has been lacking in lately. What Up Films also uh, is, seems like quite a genuinely nice guy, and his videos like Frank Mistake and other Mario and Luigi related plush videos are genuinely well made, and the comedy is really well timed. And if you're a fan of plush videos but don't like XML, then I highly recommend this guy. He's genuinely really good. Number 6 Keen Lagerfeld. Keen Lagerfeld is a guy on YouTube who makes reaction videos mainly to XML but to other stuff as well. And honestly, he makes quite genuinely good reaction videos. His reactions seem genuine, and his general general critiques on the XML characters are quite funny to react to, where certain other reaction channels on XML might be biased towards the characters, or might just laugh at everything. This guy, Keen Lagerfeld, genuinely has good reactions other than finding everything funny. Even Lagerfeld also points out stuff that the characters he reacts to doesn't know, and that's even funnier to me. So if you like, if you don't like XML, but you like the reaction videos, then I highly recommend Keen Lagerfeld, because he genuinely seems like a genuinely nice guy, and a really genuine reactor. Number 5. The Cute Mario Bro, or as they were previously known, Mario Mario 8989. Now on the surface, the Cute Mario Bro might be well known for being the pioneers of other plush channels, but unlike XML, they don't really get talked about that often. And that's really a shame because they are they are better than XML, in my opinion. Whereas XML's been lacking in the creative spot recently. These videos are genuinely well made, the comedy is well timed, the writing is genuinely great, and the videos are genuinely creative. Like, they have all these short films, where, or, or as I like to call them, the terror saga, where they have monsters being the big bad guys, like the green terror being Kermit the Frog, and the blue terror being Gonzo. And it's genuinely hilarious and awesome all at the same time. They do also have some emotional storytelling and writing as well as comedy. So that's another bonus for this channel. So if you want to see other plush channels other than XML, or you've just quit XML but you want to find other plush tubers, then I highly recommend the cute Mario bro. You won't be disappointed. Number 4 Now I know I gave Mr. Betty Kruger slack for becoming a reviewer, but that was more on the point of him not doing anything creative with those videos. The, us- the Unusual Suspect is one of the... He's one of the older classic YouTube reviewers, and honestly, he's quite underrated. He's kind of like the nostalgia critic, where his reviews are full of skits and hilarious moments, but he's genuinely more underrated than the nostalgia critic, and I highly recommend you check him out. 
I specifically remember watching a Home Alone review, a Harry Potter and Spider-Man review as well, and all of them are genuinely well made, I mean, a genuinely funny guy, and the humour is well timed as well. So if you want a good review channel with great comedy timing, then look up The Unusual Suspect, you won't be disappointed. Number 3 All Gun All Gun is an animation critic who mainly makes videos around Disney, Pixar and DreamWorks and he, and he genuinely makes really creative, really fun critique videos he mainly critique, and he mainly critiques things like the mistakes Disney have made and how much of a money grabbing monopoly they've become but he also praises studios like DreamWorks and how they've turned up with masterpieces like Puss in Boots The Last Wish. He's very good at reviewing stuff and very good at just pointing out all the flaws that, that even the good movies have while also giving fair unbiased opinions. And genuinely He's a very underrated YouTube critique, and I highly recommend checking him out because he's honestly very talented in what he does and how he reviews stuff. So, if you want a good critique channel, animation critique channel, then check out All Gun. You won't be All Gun with him. I'm sorry. <laughs> Number two. Freaky Films. Freaky Films is another review channel who reviews movies but also gives news updates on upcoming movie projects and he's genuinely underrated. I think Freaky just seems like a genuinely fun movie nerd to be around and he just seems like one of those nice people who's always optimistic and always optimistic about the films he reviews and very fair on critiquing stuff as well. If you want a good review movie new channel, then check out this guy. He seems like he knows a lot. And the number one most underrated YouTube channel is... Yuki Blaze. Yuki Blaze is another Minecraft roleplay channel, and by far, in one of the most underrated YouTube channels I've ever come across. They rarely ever get talked about and they don't exactly go viral. And honestly, I think this channel deserves much more attention. It's slightly, it could be like slightly insulting where they, they do Minecraft roleplaying on existing IPs, but they're way more underrated. They've done role-playing like the Afghan Archive, which is a Five Nights at Freddy's role-play, Creepypasta Calamity Collide, and an original Minecraft role-play called Hey City High. So, if you're looking for a really underrated Minecraft role-play channel, this is the channel for you. And honestly, I'm just going to come out and say it, this channel does a way better Minecraft Creepypasta series than Newscape Pro. And I might do a video talking more about that, but just know that unlike New Newscape Pro, the characters are actually well developed and the stories, again, are genuinely well written. So, again, if you want to find a really good time huh. and find a really underrated Minecraft series, this is the channel for you. And, Hello, my name uh, is Hunter Gray. Hot Cake. Nice to meet you all. This is a way better Minecraft channel than event, Future Hunter, Hub. That that's done, please go Futuristic ahead and take your seat Hub. so that we can begin. Nothing. And that was my top 10 link for the day. Tell me what you guys thought in the comments. Uh, Honestly, I really enjoyed making this list. There was a lot of YouTubers and and uh, content creators I wanted to put in there. Uh, 
I might make a part three, who knows? But if you want me to, I could look in, I could always look into some more underrated YouTube channels. But that's all I have for now. I'm Harry Free TV. Remember it's me, you don't have to.